Isaiah 46 and 9. Psalm 96 and verse 3. Psalm 95 and verse 3. Wisdom of Solomon 9 and 1. All praise us to the most high. We give thanks again for another oh, Shabbat. Oh. Shalom, shalom. Right? And we're out here to bring out the word of the most high. You know, to wake up his chosen people, man. That's right. To wake up the spirits of the most high. Because a lot of people out here walking in demon spirit, man. Right? And we're out here, right? To wake up the Lord's chosen people to That's come back right. to his ways. Right, to come back unto him. Right, and before we kick it off, we'll give a mighty good shout out to the most high. Right, Yahawa, Bashema Mashiaki, our shy, and we say what? Barakataya Hawa, Barakataya was shy, Barakataya Hawa, Barakataya was shy. I am Manuela, Shalawa, Wam Yasharala, Wam Yasharala. I'll praise him to the most high, man. Right, the most high is powerful, man. And we have to fear the Lord. We have to give our glory and praises unto Him because, yo, the Lord created us. And we have to give thanks that the Lord created us, man. That's, That's right. right. We could have never existed, you know? Right. So we have to give the praises and honor and glory unto the Most High all the time. You know? Not sometime, but all the time. Right. Walking the way of the Lord. Right. And with that, we don't ask for King. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 46 and verse 9. Yo. Remember the former things of old, for I am Yahweh, and there is none else. What the Lord said? I am Yahweh, and there is none else. Right. There is no other God like our God, man, the Most High, the God of Israel, the God of Isaac, Abraham, and Jacob. That's right. Yeah. There is no other God, man. No Shiva, no Buddha, right? no right. Allah, man. Right? Our God is the top of all other gods, man. Right? right? No other God can compare to our God. Our God creates this earth. Our God, God creates spirits, man. Right? Right? All praises, man. Due diligence, all the brothers, them are right. 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 come through. And, you know, do the work of the most high, man. Right? All praises, Right? I am the Yaha I am Yahweh, and there is none like me. The Lord said there is none like him, man. Right? There is no other God like our God, man. Right? The idol gods cannot create moon, stars, right? Sun. The idol gods cannot create these things, man. Our God is the creator of all living things, man. And that who, that's who we give all the honor and the glory unto. Right? More on that, more on that. Right? Clearly, you want me to read that? Read that. This is Isaiah chapter 46 and verse 10. Declaring the end from the beginning. When the Lord do? Declaring the end from the beginning. Our Lord is powerful, man. Our Lord declared the end from the beginning. Right? So the Lord already ordained what's going to happen. The Lord already know that what's going on in the world, right? The Lord ordained it. That's right. Happen. So the Lord say, yo, he declared the end from the beginning, man. Right? Shalom, shalom. All praise to the Most High. We do give thanks, man. Right? So our Lord, right? Our God, Yahweh, declared the end. For Read that again, King. This is Isaiah. Chapter 46 and verse 10. Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. See that? The Lord said, His counsel shall stand, man, and He's going to do all His pleasure. Right? So He already declared yeah. that, yo, right? If we be disobedient, we would go into captivity. All these things, right? And the Lord already declared that, yo, these people are going to be in power. The wicked people are going to run the earth. Like Job said, right, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Right? The Lord knows he's going to do these things, man. So this is why we have to get our spirit right. We have to be right with the Most High. 
right? And do the works of the Lord. Give me, yeah, Psalms 96 and verse 3. Psalms 96. Psalms 96 verse 3. Declare this, declare this glory amongst the heathen. And that's what we out here doing. We declare the glory up amongst the heathens, right? That's right. Because the heathens are the other nations that are not Israelites, right? Those are the heathens. And the heathens, they worship idols, man. But we, the children of Israel, we worship the true creator, right? Because a lot of people out here, they don't believe in the most high. They don't believe a God is, is exists, man. They, they are atheists. They say God don't exist, right? And a lot of other people, they worship idols. They bow down to vanity. Read on, King. His wonders amongst all people. Read. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. You see that? The Lord is great, man, and greatly to be praised. So we have to give all honor and glory unto the Most High Yahweh all the time, man. Read on. He is to be amongst all gods he is to be feared among all God above all gods man right so our God is above all God man right Yahweh is above all gods right Yahweh is above Shiva Yahweh is above Buddha right Yahweh is above Allah right Yahweh is above all these idols right because these idols can't do nothing, man. These idols, all they do is just sit there as an image, man. Right? And the heathens, they bow to them. This is why in Jeremiah 10 and 2, the Lord say, Learn not the ways of the heathens, man. Because we will follow them to serve vanity. Right? And we don't serve vanity. We serve the living, the living true Yahweh, man. That's who we serve, man. Read it. Bring a precept, King. This is Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 11. The Lord will be terrible unto them, for he will famish all the gods of the earth, and men shall worship him, everyone that? from his place, even all the isles of the heathen. The Lord says he's going to punish all the gods of the earth, man. Right. right? All these false gods, man, the Lord is going to punish them, man. Right? And this Bible was put together by mighty people, right? Mighty men that the Lord speak to. And the Holy Spirit on and on so they can bring this word to the world man right so the Lord say yo he's gonna destroy them man bring you out the precept king this is Psalm 68 and verse 11 the Lord gave the word great was the company of those that published it the Lord gave the word great was the company that published it so all these men in the Bible they are great man they are the children of Israel, man, right? All these prophets in the Bible, they are great people. They, you know what I mean? David, right? Nehemiah, all of them, right? They are powerful people. And they were ordained by the, the Lord. And the Lord put the Holy Spirit on them to come and bring this word and, and write it in the book so we can of the wisdom of the Lord in this time, man. Right? Read the precept. Second Peter chapter 1, verse 21. Bring it up. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. See that? Holy man spake whereas they were moved by the Holy Ghost, man. Right? So the Lord put the Spirit upon brothers and brothers write this book. Right, so, right, it's the Holy Spirit that's in this book, man. That's right. This book is the Holy Spirit. If we want to be tuned into the Most High, we have to go into this book, man. That's right. We can't go nowhere else. We have to go to the scriptures, right? Read the precept. This is book of Deuteronomy chapter 9 and verse 10. Hello. And the Lord deliver unto me two tables of stones. Written with the finger of Yahweh. Written by who? Written with the finger of Yahweh. So it's the Lord who wrote this Bible, right? The Most High wrote this Bible through the Holy Spirit. Go on it. And on them was written according to all the words which the Lord spake with you. The Lord spoke with us, man. More. 
in the month or of the meat of the fire in the day of the of the, of the assembly. Right, you see that. So it's the Lord who write this Bible man, precept upon precept. Give me the book. Hold on, King. Psalms 96. 95 and 3. Psalms chapter 95, verse 3. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. See, our Lord is a great king above all gods, man. Right? So no Shiva, no Buddha, right? Our God is the most high. The creator of all living things, man. Wisdom of Solomon, King. 9 and 13. This is the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 9 and verse 13. Bring it out! For what man is he that can know the counsel of God? What man can know the counsel of God? Because our God is so powerful, man. We can't know exactly what's beyond this constellation, man. Right? Unless the Lord put the Holy Spirit on us. That's when we're going to actually know. And right. he revealed his, his secrets unto his prophets. Give me that in the book of Amos. I believe Amos 3 and 11 or 7, 1 or 2. Or who can think what the will of the Lord is? Or who can think what the will of the Lord is? Read King. For the thoughts of mortal men are miserable. Because the thoughts of mortal men, and that's what we are. We are mortal men. We no longer immortal because the Lord cast us down into this state, man. Right. Right? Because we was meant to be immortal people. But the Lord cast us down because, yo, the spirits that in us, right? A lot of us need, are getting punishment. Right. Right? So this is why the Lord is putting us through this fire to try us. And we have to get back into the rightful state so that when the time of election come and judgment come, we're in the right spirit and the Lord can elect us back to be immortal, man. We think. And our devices are much uncertain. For the comfortable body presses down the soul and the earthy tabernacle weigh down the mind that must... You see, and that's what's going on, right? The earthly tabernacle, yo, we can't be earthly, man. Right, right? Ricky. That must set upon many things. That music upon many things. Read on. And how did you we guess aright at things that are upon earth? See, and a lot of people can't guess the right. Right? See, right. They must say, oh, this earth was created by Big Bang Theory. But unless we go to the scriptures and the Lord gonna show us that, yo. He is the one who created this thing, man. He formed the earth, he formed the light, he formed the darkness, right? He created the sun, the moon, the stars, right? Then we're going to believe what man say that this, this world was created by a big bang, man. You know what I mean? And this is where they kick out the Lord out of the picture, man. Right? Read on, kid. And with labor, you will find the things that are before us. But the things that are in heaven, who had searched out and thy counsel had known except do give wisdom and send thy Holy Spirit from above and do what? and, and send, send thy Holy Spirit from above so the Lord gives spirit to our our four parents right and send the wisdom from above man so it's the Holy Spirit right what's gonna make us know the counsel of the Lord right read on for so the ways of them which lived on the earth were reformed and men were taught the things that are pleasing unto thee. Right, and these are the people that walk in the Holy Spirit. Right. Man, man like Isaiah, man like Jeremiah, all these prophets, man, Isaiah, Joel, right? These people, Ezekiel, these people walked in the Holy Spirit was on them. Right. So they could tell what's to come and what was before. You understand? Right. right? And this is the spirit that's pouring out on brothers because the Lord is revealing so much to us, man. Because the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. That's right. And then when we fear the Lord, he's going to reveal his truth unto us. And this is why brothers are out here on the Sabbath bringing out his word, man. Right. Because brothers are walking in the fear of the Lord. Read more, King. And were saved through wisdom. And was what? And, and was saved, saved through, through wisdom. wisdom. That's 17. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, all right, keep read that. Uh, Psalms 94, verse 16. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? The Lord said, Who will rise up against me for the evildoers? Read. 
or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity and who will stand up against the workers of iniquity right and that is the people right that is his chosen that is walking his, in his holy spirit man right. right that is us who is out here on the battlefield man that's right fighting against this wicked people man right. right fighting against this wicked order that is in the earth man right trying to bring the people back to righteousness man right because righteousness is what's gonna last man right all this wickedness is gonna have to vanish out of the earth read them as for king you should look up isaiah chapter 14 14 verse 22 it is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth and the inhabitants thereof or as god so that the lord sit upon the circle of the earth man Right? That's almighty our God is, man. That's right. Our God sees all things, man. Our God is omnipotent. Right? Our Lord sees everything that goes on. Even what's in our mind. The right. Lord sees, man. Right? Give me that in Proverbs 15 and 3, quickly. And the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers that, that stretch it out the heavens as a skirt. And you see, we are like grasshoppers to the Lord. <laughs> That's what the Lord say. The Lord say, yo, the, habit the inhabitants are like grasshoppers. That's how small we are, man. It's like us looking down on the ants. That's how small the Lord sees us, man. So when some people trying to be puffed up and trying to be proud, yo, you're just a little duck, right. man. Right. You're smaller than a duck to the most high, man. So humble on yourself and come to the Lord, man. Come away from wickedness. Come away, come back to righteousness, man. That's right. right. Come back to cleansiness, godliness, right? Come away from this word of world, man. This sodomite world, man. Right. Right. Go on, it, king. And spread it them out as a tent to dwell in. And spread it them out as a tent to dwell in. Give me the book of Psalms. Isaiah, Silak, Isaiah 42 and verse 5. Yes, yeah, sir. Proverbs. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 15 and verse 3. No. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. See that? The laws of the eyes in every place, beholding the evil and the good, man. Right? Give me the book of Ezekiel 12 and 25. Read that, King. Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 10. I, the Lord, search the heart. I try the reins even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doing. See that? So this is why we have to do good people, children of Israel. We have to do good, right? We have to do righteousness because the Lord is going to punish men. He's going to punish us according to the work that we do. Right. Right? And this is why, brother, walk in the fear of the Lord, man. Right? We don't hold here and hear the truth and try to be puffed up against the truth. Because why? You can't do nothing against the truth, man. That's right. right? Bring your precept, King. This is Proverbs 1 and 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. What the Lord what it say? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. You see that? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. More on it. But fools despise wisdom. But fools despise wisdom, man. Right. They hear this truth, right? But they despise it. Right, that's it on that. And instruction. And instruction. They despise instruction. Right. Because we out here telling them, say, listen, get on yourself together. Get your acts together. Sister, start wear, stop wear your pants. Start wearing your dresses because masculine energy is going to overtake you. And you're going to start behaving like man. Right? When you be a woman, man. Right? Be tender, be delicate. Right? Brothers, we stop shave off them beard and look manly, right? Stop look like look your age, man, right? right. Give me, give me the um the one about the prophets, uh, Amos, Amos three and, and eleven, I think, or seven. The Lord reveal His secret. It, three and seven, yeah, three and seven. King, read that. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter fifty-five and verse eleven. So shall my words be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. See that? And the Lord, whatever the Lord say, he's going to accomplish it. 
Because the Lord said to us in, in Deuteronomy, right? When Moses was warning us, he's speaking to Moses and saying that, yo, we're going to go into captivity. We're right. going to go into places like Jamaica. We're going to go into places like Barbados, America, and we're going to be slaves. The Lord already ordained that, man. Right. The Lord said, if we don't listen to him, we're going to go into this captivity. And what happened? It happened to us. Right? He said, yo, we're going to serve our enemies, man. And it did happen to us. Right? The Lord ordained the 12 Caesar, right? Because that's in the, the Bible, in right. the Apocrypha. And the 12 Caesar did come to pass. They did reign in the earth, right? right. The Lord said, America and Europe is going to go into fire, man. Right. That's right. And that's going to happen, man. Right. Right. right? So the Lord said, yo, his council will start. Read it again. That's right. It's the book of Isaiah 55 and verse 11. Yeah. So shall my word that be that good forth oh, out of my mouth. Word. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. See that where to he sent it, man. So our Lord powerful, what you got, King? Yeah, read that, read that. This is Amos chapter 3 and verse 7. Surely the Lord Jehovah will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servant. Unto who? Unto, unto his servant. servant. His prophet. Uh, unto his servants, the prophet. Yeah, you see, the Lord reveal his secret unto his servants, the prophets, man. Right? And that's these people that's in our book. Right? That's these people who, who is in our book, man. These are prophets. Right? And what they say, right, it came to pass. You know what I mean? So, yo, what the Lord counsel is powerful and it shall stand. Whatever the Lord say is going to happen, man. Read the precept, King. Isaiah chapter 12 and verse 10 I have also spoken by the prophets and I have multiplied visions and used similitude by the ministry of the prophets by the ministry of the prophets so you see the Holy Spirit moved in the prophets right and they left this record right they left the, 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 the record they left the revelation and a prophecy is something that is come to that is gonna be coming to pass, man. Right? And so that's what the Lord counsel is. So yo, right. the Lord speak through the prophets. And like the book of Amos just said that he revealed his secret unto his prophets, man. Right? So only the prophets that walk in the Holy Spirit can actually tell and foretell what's gonna happen in the earth, man. Read that. This is book of Deuteronomy chapter 29 and verse 29. The secret things belong unto the Lord, our Yahweh. The secret things belong unto the Lord, our Yahweh. The secret things belong to the Lord, Yahweh. So all these other nations trying to go to Mars, right? Trying to figure out what's up past the sky and all these things. Man, yo, something they can't find out, man. Right, because the Lord don't give them that power to go that far, man. Right. Right. The Lord them don't give them that power to go to find out certain things that he does. Right? So certain things will never be revealed to certain nations, man. God. Only the prophets go know these things, man. Right? Finish it. But those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever and that we may do all the words of this law. And that's talking about the children of Israel, man. That belongs to us, right? Because we are the children of the prophets. Right. Right. We are the children of the Most High. We are the chosen. Right. And the Lord give us his law statutes, his commandments, man. Right. We are the one who the Lord installed that power on, man. Bring your precept, King. Sirach chapter 3, verse 22. But what is command thee think thereof thereon with reverence? The Lord said, whatever is command, we say, we should think there on it with reverence, man. Right? That means say, yo, if we are consider what the Lord writing on this Bible, man, right. read on. For it is not needful for thee to see with thine eyes the things that are in secret. But, so like a, be not curious in unnecessary matter, for more things 
are shown unto thee that man understand. You see, and that show unto us, the children of Israel, that right. man understand. You see, right? And the Lord has said, yo, see, certain things when they're too far over, too far for us. Don't try to figure it out, man. Focus on more like, you know, being righteousness in the earth, right? And keep the law, statutes, and commandments, man. Right. That's what the Lord gave us. Right? So I must say, yo, instead of your thing about the constellation and what make up the star and what make up the sun, yo, the Lord say, yo, focus on him commandments right. there. And do right in the earth, man. Read the mouth, Focus. Proverbs chapter 19 and verse 21. Bring it out. There are many devices in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord that shall stand. What the Lord say? The counsel of the Lord shall stand. The counsel of the Lord shall stand. And right, he said that he's going to wake us up back in these last days, the children right. of Israel. And that's what's happening. He said, yo, he's going to pour out his spirit on us. And we are waking up, man. Right? So the, the prophecy stand. The counsel of the Lord stand. America is going to go down. That stand. Right? Europe is going to go up in flames. That stand, man. Right? And all you wicked that don't want to hear the Lord is going to go in the pit of fire, man. Right? That's what the Lord say in Revelation, and that's sad. So we have to get ourselves right, children of Israel. Come back to the law, statutes, and commandment. Read the precept. Oh yeah, bring, bring that out, Jeremiah. Jeremiah. 23, verse 29. It's not my word like a fire. What the Lord say? It's not my word like a fire. The Lord's word is like fire, man. Right when this word is coming out, a lot of people can't stand it because the truth start to hurt them. This fire start to burn them, man. Right, just like how the Lord say, "Yo, my word is like the two-edged sword, man." Read on, kid. And like a hammer that. And like a what? And like, like a hammer. hammer. The Lord word is like hammer, man. <laughs> that broke beating the... down the anything, man. Read it. That broke the rock in pieces. Right, so. No matter what these scientists want to say, man, the Lord, the word of the Lord powerful than what these scientists want to say. So away with your Big Bang Theory, man. The Lord say he created this world. No Big Bang Theory, man. Right? Read more on it. Read the precept, King. Going back to what you said about America and London's going to burn down. All right. So this is Baruch chapter 5 and verse 7. Bring it say, how I have appointed that every high hill and bank of long continuance should be cast down and valleys filled up you see that make. and that's the lord council man the lord say yo i'm gonna throw down all these hills man read up to make even the ground that israel may go safely in the glory of the of yahweh you see so the lord council stand man the lord is coming to render judgment in the earth right and that stands right as we say the lord said that we was gonna go into slavery and that did happen to our nation right so the lord calls to stand right and the lord is coming to render judgment upon the heathens right right so y'all prepare for captivity man right the lord say he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity right and that calls to stand the lord say whatever he says stands right read the mouth for king the counsel of the Lord standeth forever. The counsel of the Lord standeth forever. The counsel of the Lord standeth forever, man. Read. The thoughts of his heart to all generations. The thoughts of his heart to all generations. That's right. right. So the counsel of the Lord said, man. Right. Nothing they can do about it. Right. Right. The Lord put the spirit on these people to do wickedness in the earth. His counsel, that's his counsel. Right. The Lord put the spirit on people to do righteousness. That's his counsel, man. Right? And that stands. So when we come out here and bring in out the word, right, I've it. Read. Blessed is the nation who is gone into the Lord. Blessed is what? Blessed is the nation who is gone into the Lord. Blessed is us that keep in the law, man. Right? Blessed is the, the, the children of Israel, man. That's the black, so-called blacks. 
the so-called Hispanics and so-called Native Americans, right? Blessed are us because our God is greater above all gods, man. Right. Our God is above all white Jesus, man. Let them know. Right? Our God is above Shiva, right? Above Buddha, right? Because our God is the creator of all living things. Right. Right? No comparison. Morning. That's right. And the people whom he had chosen for his own inheritance. And the people, read it again, and what? The people who we have chosen for his own inheritance. And the people who we have chosen for his own inheritance. You see that? Right? Bring your precept, King. Sirach chapter 43, verse 30. It's lucky, I'll start verse 29. The Lord is terrible and very great and marvelous in his power. The Lord is? The Lord is terrible and very great and marvelous in his power. The Lord is marvelous in his power, man. Right? Ain't no comparison to our Lord, man. That's right. Right? If the Lord decides, say, yo, and a year time, it's not your time, man. If the Lord decides, say, it's your time, it's your time. That's right. Right? Come on. When ye glorify the Lord, exalt him as much as ye can. What the Lord say? When ye glorify, glorify the Lord, exalt him as much as you can. can. The Lord say, glorify him as much as we can, man. Right? So when we glorify our, our master, our creator, right? We, we glorify him as much as we can, man. Right. Right? Put out all that energy to serve the Lord, man. Right. Right? Don't right. put out the energy to serve man, man. Right. Right? With that, give me the book of Acts 5 and verse 30. 29. More on it, kick more. For even yet will he far exceed. And when ye exalt him, put forth all your strength. And be not weary, for ye can never go far enough. You see that? Be not weary, man. Right. Right? A lot of trials and tribulation gonna come, children of Israel. But yo, endure, man. Stand up. Be strong. Because when we overcome, that's how we get strength. Right. When we overcome our sins, that's when we get strength and be stronger in ourselves, man. That's when we be obedient, when we, 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 we accept, reprove, correction and all these things, that's when we get powerful in ourselves, man. Right? When we get puffed up and don't wanna listen, you get weaker. Right? You don't you, you know you don't you don't rise, man, you get destroyed, man. Right. Right? You have read that, read that. This is the book of Habakkuk chapter two and verse three. Hello. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak. You see, the vision is yet for an appointed time. So that's talking about the future prophecies. Read on. And not lie. Though we tarry, wait for it. You see, though we tarry, the Lord said, wait for it. It shall surely come to pass. That's what that means, man. Right? One more ask for King. Acts 5 and 29. Read that. This is Acts chapter 5 and verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey Yahweh rather than men. We are to what? We ought to obey Yahweh rather than men. Right. We are to obey the most high rather than man right so we cannot be out here trying to just serve man right we cannot be influenced by tv man by media we can't be following these things that man created man right we can't be following right the institutions we can't just take what they teach in schools right we have to take the instruction from what the lord written in this bible right we have to take the instruction from the God, from the Lord, and not man, man. Right? Read that, King. This is Book of Isaiah, chapter fourteen and verse twenty-four. No. The Lord of hosts had sworn, saying, "Surely as I have thought, so shall it come to pass; right. and as I have purposed, so shall it stand." Is it the Lord say, "Read it, read that again." This is Isaiah fourteen and verse twenty-four. The Lord of hosts has sworn, saying, Surely as I have thought, so shall it come to pass. The Lord says, Surely as I have thought, so shall it come to pass. So whatever the Lord ordained, right, is going to come to pass. Right? The Lord says he's going to smite us with blindness and madness. Right? How you doing, my brother? Just wait. I'm going to close up my segment, then somebody is going to teach you. Yeah? So just wait. Yeah? Listen to the word of the Lord, right? 
Yeah. Read, that, read that again. This is Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 24. The Lord of hosts had sworn, saying, Surely as I have thought, so shall it come to pass. Surely as I have thought, it's going to come to pass. You see? So what the Lord ordained, bro, is going to come to pass. Meaning in Revelation, he's saying that, yo, he's going to come with brimstone and fire all over the Bible. He's telling you that judgment is going to be rendered in the earth. He's telling you that Christ is going to come back with a sword. Christ ain't coming to make love to no one. Right? Christ is coming back to render judgment unto the wicked people. And all the vessels that don't want to serve him is going to get punishment, man. Jump to verse 27. Verse 27. Isaiah 14 and verse 27. For the Lord of hosts had purpose. And who shall this and who shall disannul it? And his hand is stretched out. And who shall turn it back? See that who can turn it back? When the Lord decides to fall brimstone and fire on the earth. When they decide to use these missiles, these nuclear missiles, who can turn it back? The Lord put the, 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 the intelligent in man to create these things. Right? The Mosa is doing it, bro. You understand? And the Mosa make you stop here today. The Mosa make you walk here today to learn this knowledge. So don't go anywhere, yeah? Because my brother is going to show you more and you can edify yourself. Right? That's it. Give me Amos 9. This is eight, that guy. Amos chapter 8 and verse 9. Hello. And it shall come to pass in that, that day, saith the Lord God, that I will cause the sun to go down at noon. What the Lord say? That I will cause the sun to go down at noon. The Lord say, noon bro, midday, the sun is going to go down, meaning the whole earth is going to be in darkness, man. Read on. And I will darken the earth in the clear and day. And I will what? And, and I, I will darken the earth in the clear day. In the clear day, the Lord is going to dark the whole earth, bro. Right? So the Lord calls it stand. What the Lord say in this Bible, it came to pass. There is lots of prophecy that was prophesied by Isaiah, Ezekiel, and all these prophets. And they already come to pass, bro. Plus more is to come. Right, so the Lord declared the end from the beginning in Isaiah 46 and 10. Right, read morning. And I will turn your feast into morning. And what? And, and I, will I will turn, turn your feast into morning. morning. So all this partying and watching football, and uh, that's their feast. The Lord says it's going to turn into morning, man. Oh. Right, all this stadium is going to turn into morning. Right, all these hey. baseballs. Hey. Right? It's going to turn into morning, brother. Right? So all these people walking around trying to, right? Like, enjoy. Right? The Lord says it's going to turn this into morning. Give me that in um, first, first Thessalonians 5 and 3. Quickly. Yeah, may I close out here now? Just last two. Uh, Malachi 3 and 6. This is book of Malachi chapter 3 and verse 6. Hello. For I am the Lord, Hello. I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. See that the Lord say he changed not, man. Give me the book of 2 Corinthians 3 and 8. Alright, last two. 1 Thessalonians 5 and verse 2. Hello. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. See, the Lord day cometh as a thief in the night, man. Read on. For when they shall say peace and safety. Or when they what? For when they shall say peace and safety. Then sudden destruction cometh upon them. See that bro? Sudden destruction will come in the earth. When they think it's peace and safety. Going to party. You know? Ignoring the Lord. That's why we have to get ourselves right children of Israel. That's right. Read that king. It's book of 2 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 9. Hello. For if the ministration of condemnation be glory, much more do it the, ministri the ministration of righteousness exceed in glory. That's good. 13 and 8. 2 Corinthians 13 and 8. It's book of 2 Corinthians. 
Just because 2 Corinthians chapter 13 and verse 8. Yes. For we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. What did the Lord say? For we, we can, can do, do nothing, nothing against the truth, but for the truth. And this Bible is the truth. Whatever the Lord says in this Bible, bro, that's the truth. Otherwise, we live in a lie. Right? Read that again. For we can do nothing against the truth, but, but for, for the, the truth. truth. So we can't do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. So we have to do the work of the Most High, right? Be of the Lord, be of righteousness. Right. And with that, we close up the segment and we say, Barakataya Hawa, Barakataya Washad. Barakataya Hawa, Barakataya Washad. I am Manuelai, Shalawa, Kwame Shalala, Kwame Shalala. All praise to the Most High, man. All praises. <laughs>